Hi, this is Mike from MRIS, and I'm going to take a couple of minutes to show you how to fix converging perspective, or that distortion created by wide-angle lenses. For this program, uh, tutorial, we're going to use a program called the GIMP, so you're going to want to download and install the GIMP. Here are a couple of photos that we've looked at before that are sort of have a distortion caused by wide-angle, uh, the orientation of the wide-angle lens. So uh, doing, taking this first one, opening it up in the GIMP, there's a tool that's called the perspective tool, and that allows you to change the perspective of that photo, essentially virtually moving the camera around. So by selecting that tool and then grabbing each of the corners, you can see how I'm going to adjust the corners and stretch out the corners of the uh, of the photograph. So as I just stretch these around, you see that I'm I'm looking how the um, how the the horizontal lines match up to make the uh, to make the horizontal lines look straight up and down, and to take some of the exaggeration out of that perspective of this fireplace because it looked like the fireplace was just a mile long when really it wasn't. So I'm actually trying to paint a more accurate picture of what this fireplace actually looks like. You notice that all of that stuff around the dotted line is going to be cut off. Once I'm done making my adjustments, I click the transform button and you'll see a progress bar along the bottom that is uh, making the adjustments to the photograph. We'll see that the uh, the, the adjustment has been made and then what we'll do is we're going to want to save a copy of this photograph so that we don't destroy our original in case we didn't like this, in case we made a mistake, in case we need to do this again. So we'll just give this copy a new name, save it. It's going to tell us that the format we're uh, using won't have transparency so we need to use the export feature. And We'll click save and it makes a copy on, of, on our disk. So that's one way to do it with the, uh, with the converging horizontal lines. Now let's take a look at how to uh, adjust one with converging uh, vertical lines. So I'll just take the, the, another photo, drag it over onto the GIMP. It opens it up, and we'll use that perspective tool again. Notice now I drag the, the upper corners outward, and all I'm trying to do is trying to get those vertical lines to be a little bit more straight up and down, a little bit more perpendicular to the horizontal because that, that perspective just looks so exaggerated, it looks kind of funny. So once again, that dotted line is what the, what the final photo will look like. So you see I'm actually going to end up cropping off some of, that, some, of that extra, uh, some of the extra pixels. But I think overall it's going to make the photograph look a whole lot better. So we'll just tweak this until all the lines get as straight up and down as, as we can do it and still make it look correct. Once we're done, we will just click the transform button and once again you'll see that progress bar go along the bottom and it'll take a couple of seconds to perform the transformation depending on how much transformation you do will make it take a little bit longer all right so now our transformation is complete let's go over to Picasa and see a before and after on each of these photos. So once again, I'm going to save save a copy. Let's give it another name. So once again, so we don't destroy our original. Tell it to export. I like to save them at 100% so that we don't throw any information uh, through compression, making them look more grainy. So we'll save it. Now we switch back. And we have each of the photos that we've we've got the before and after here. So let, first, let's take a look at the the fireplace before. There's the before, and there's the after. You see how it just takes away some of that exaggeration. Those angles aren't quite so distracting. Here's our library. You see the before and the after. The before, you see more of the room, but those angles are so distracting. It just doesn't quite look right. So by going to the after. We'll see that it, it looks a lot more natural, even though we've lost some of the uh, some of the edge. So that's how we make adjustments and change perspective caused by wide-angle lenses. Uh, this is Mike for the MRIS blog. I hope this has helped. Thanks for watching.